During the early years of the French Revolution, several important artifacts of the French royal family were lost to history, including a royal scepter dating back to the 7th century. Last seen in 1795, the scepter of Dagobert disappeared from the Basilica of St. Denis and has never been seen again. So was this royal scepter another noble victim of the French Revolution? Or is it possible this historical artifact survived the tumultuous reign of terror? Join me as we sift through the source material and look for clues in this historical mystery to track down the lost treasure, the scepter of Dagobert. The scepter of Dagobert was exactly what it sounds like, a scepter used by a guy named Dagobert. Dagobert was the king of a series of territories that would mostly make up modern-day France, plus a couple cities in Germany, and assumed unprecedented power as a king of several united territories that weren't that easy to unite. To symbolize his absolute power, Dagobert had master craftsmen and future saints Elwa de Noyon create a royal scepter to wield on his golden throne. The scepter consisted of three parts, a rod, a hand holding the world, and a statue on top, all made from gold. Together with his royal throne, the scepter was part of the treasures of Dagobert, stored in a church Dagobert had transformed into an abbey during his reign which has since grown to become a major basilica in Paris, the Basilica of St. Denis. Along with a growing roster of artifacts, the scepter became part of the crown jewels of the Kingdom of France, especially because the basilica became a necropolis for the remains of French Valois dynasty. During both the Hundred Years' War and the Wars of Religion, enemy armies raided the basilica twice, but the scepter survived both raids to remain in the Basilica. That is, until the French Revolution. On the outbreak of the French Revolution, monks at the Basilica understood the anti-royalist mobs would target the church because of its relationship to the French royal family. After one final church service in 1792, priests converted the Basilica into a grain storage facility, and surrendered the building to the revolutionaries. Fortunately, the revolutionary mob turned out to be a fairly historically-minded commission that carefully assessed the historical value of royal artifacts in the church before dismantling the royal tombs. In 1798, the final artifacts of the church were transferred to the chapel of Petit Augustines, which has since become a museum. The only problem was the scepter never made it to Petit Augustines. Instead, the last known reports of the scepter came from 1795. But this is where things get crazy. So most of the royal regalia of the French kings survived the Napoleonic Wars, but ended up getting split up in the 1870s while being auctioned off when the monarchy of France finally met its final eradication. Now this part I can't make up. One of FDR's Secret Service agents, Amy de Harim, who was in charge of covertly coercing the Brazilian delegation to refuse to join the Axis powers in World War II, started buying up pieces of the French crown jewels. By the end of her life, de Harim had the majority of the French crown jewels in her collection. Amy de Harim would become a serious socialite after the war. She married very rich, became lifelong friends to the presidential Kennedy family and to designer Coco Chanel, and ended up as a guest of honor to countless royal weddings, coronations, and inaugurations. That also means that if the largest collector of the French crown jewels had the scepter of Dagobert, we would have known by now. Going back to the French Revolution, revolutionary mobs didn't exactly carefully categorize everything. In order to make bullets early in the war, 
Revolutionary soldiers melted down lead roof tiles of the Basilica of St. Denis, so we know they repurposed metal from the church, and not just for bullets. The revolutionaries also stole several gold items from the church to melt down and pay for other material for the war effort. And the scepter of Dagobert was made of gold. So where is the scepter today? Well, unfortunately, the most likely answer is that French revolutionaries stole it from the Basilica of St. Denis, melted it down, and used the coins they made out of it to pay for the revolution. A revolution that continues today as the ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity live on in the spirits of French revolutionaries. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more anthropological videos. This video was made possible by contributions to this channel's Patreon from viewers like you. Thank you.